The AutoDS drafts page has all of the products that you added using add products. Though keep in mind that while they are in drafts, AutoDS is not monitoring them and they're not showing up in your store just yet. Once you import them, they will move from drafts to products. And at this point, AutoDS will monitor them and the products will show up in your store. If you choose to import the products without stock monitoring, price monitoring, or auto ordering, AutoDS will still move it from drafts to products, but it won't monitor whatever option you chose not to. So let's learn about all of the options that we have in the drafts page. So up here, we can see that we have 37 items. Here is the list of items, all of the products that we have uploaded. When the products are in the draft section, they are not being monitored by AutoDS just yet. Once we import them using the button here on the right, they will move from drafts to products and then they will start being monitored. So while they're here in the draft section, let's go over all of the options. So here are the items. Let's take this one for example, this ballpoint pen. If we click on the picture or on the arrow, you'll be able to fully edit pretty much everything about the item, the variants, images, specifications, description, and so forth. So clicking on that will close it up again. The next option that you'll have is to add a note. Here you can see your supplier and the destination, where you're getting the item from, where you're uploading it to, the total number of variants that you have. And if you click here, you'll be able to view the product on the source site. So for this example, we have Amazon US as the, as the source. So if we click on view product, we'll be taken to that site, to that product page. The next option that you'll have is three dots over here to import the product to your shop. Once you click on that, it'll move from drafts to products, and then AutoDS will start monitoring the product. The next option you have after that is to save the draft, or you can delete it. So if you're working line by line, you're working on each product manually, or you can grab all of them using the checkbox above, or you can choose whichever products you want one by one by checking them in like this. And then you'll be able to make bulk changes, for example, editing all of the items, importing them all to the product section and having them monitored, or removing them from your list, completely deleting them from your drafts. If you want them again, just re-upload them using add products. The next feature that I want to talk about on the drafts page is a very important one. It's the filter option. So if you click on add filter here above, you'll be able to see all kinds of filters that you can choose. The filter option helps you rearrange and organize all of the items that you see in front of you. So here, for example, let's say that we want to see all of the items that have a buy price of less than $10. I want to see all of the cheap items that cost less than 10 bucks. Let's see what they are. So here are all of the items in the draft section that cost less than $10 on the source site. Now here, for example, I want to add another filter. So let's say I want to add all of the products that are from buy site AliExpress. So I want to see all of the items from AliExpress that also cost less than $10. So here are the items that we have over here. One of the cool things about filters now is once you add more than one filter, like so, you'll be able to see these two options, match all of or match any of. And here's the difference between the two. Match all of means that the system will only show you the results if all of the filters above are true, if all of them exist. So the results that we see now below are all of the items that cost less than $10 and are on buy site AliExpress. If I choose match any of, it'll show me all of the products that cost less than $10 or slash and are from the buy site AliExpress. So if any of the two are true, it'll show me them which means it'll probably show me a lot more because there will be more results like so. So here are all of the items that either cost less than $10 or they're from buy site AliExpress or both. So that's the difference between these two options. You can add as many filters as you want. Use your imagination to do some great things with the filter search. Next, you can save the filter options that you set over here, or you can clear and start a new filter search. Moving on. Over here, you have the view history button. Once you click on it, you'll be able to see all of the history that happened within your drafts. So here we can see all of the changes that happened on September 9th. We can click on September 8th or any other date in the past to see all of the actions that happened in your draft section. 
clicking on details on the right will show you a more in-depth view of what happened with this specific draft. So here, for example, this is the product, the date it was created on, the source item ID where it's getting the item from, the sell item ID if it gave it one, the store that you're uploading it to, and the status, in this case completed, because AutoDS was able to successfully upload the product to the draft section. And so that's the view history section. The next section that we have after that is expand all. What this button does is it'll open the full item edit for each and every one of the products that we have in the drafts page. So if I just click on that, as you can see now, it expanded each and every one of them and I can just go inside and edit whatever I want. I can save the draft or I can just import it straight to the product page right after finishing editing everything that I need. That's the expand all. Clicking on it again will close everything up. We also have a scheduled feature which is coming soon, so we're going to talk about that in the near future. That pretty much sums up everything that we have in the draft section and all of its options. If you have any questions, please let me know below. I'll be more than happy to personally answer each and every one of you. Keep in mind that we have a live chat support to help you with anything that you may need at any time. And please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube videos to learn more about the world of dropshipping and about the AutoDS monitor itself.